I'm going to open up Tuner Studio and I am going to see if I can connect to my ECU. I've got it plugged into a stimulator and powered on. Uh, we're going to go to New Project and you can name it anything you want to. I'm going to call this MS3 Pro and we'll say this is for my Camaro. Now, see, it automatically created a project directory. Now, this is kind of important to know. This, you see this uh, is in your profile, and it's in the Documents folder, or also known as My Documents, your, uh, your Windows may show it as. And then there's a folder inside that called Tuner Studio Projects, and then there's a folder inside that called MS3 Pro 1967 Camaro that it's creating, and that's where it's going to put all the files related to this project. So now I need to know what firmware I'm running. Oh man, I don't know. I have no idea what's on this, com this CCU, let's say. I'm going to click Detect and see if it finds it. So it's now checking the D2XX. See this? It found it there. It's also checking all COM ports. You can see it's checking COM3 right now. It found it on COM3 as well. I'm going to use D2XX. Generally works faster and is the recommended way to go. So, accept. It's saying your installation of Tuner Studio does not have a configuration to support the firmware found. It says, however, this file is available on the FI Analytics servers. Would you like Tuner Studio to download the file for you? Of course I would. Now, if you're running an obscure version of firmware, a alpha or some beta releases, it may not be downloadable like that, and there's another process you have to go through to be able to set that up. But if you're running any release version or one of the more uh, heavily uh, used beta releases, chances are it's going to download this automatically for you just like it just did for me. If you want to put a description down here, do so. Next. Alright. Chances are you're using a wideband. If you're not, go to narrowband. Um, I like Fahrenheit. You might like Celsius. Uh, most of this other stuff we'll get into at another time if it's ever needed. Um, We'll discuss that in another video, but for now I would leave all of that at the default, unless you know what you're doing there. Click Next. Alright, ask me for my connection type. You can see I've got uh, FTDI D2XX, which is what I prefer. There are other ways to connect. We're focusing on the D2XX, or you could go to RS-232 and COM3, and since this is an MS3 based system, you would go to 115-200 baud rate and test port and it should work. Hey, But I don't want that. I want D2XX. So we're going to go back there, leave this uh, 115200 device serial number you don't need to mess with, test port, connected. I know D2XX is superior. We're going to go with that. Next. And here you can select a dashboard. There's a ton of them. I just want to do the default. Where to go? Here we go. For now. You can also customize those dashboards. So we are now connected to our ECU. Um, it is connected to a stimulator with completely random settings, so it currently thinks the throttle is pinned 145% and it's the engine's not spinning. We'll get back into that in another video. So that should pretty much cover how to create a project in Tuner Studio and connect to your ECU no matter which of our engine management systems you're using. I hope you found this helpful and I will talk to you again soon.